Entertaining things. 1. Start watching a new reality series. Maybe it's finally time to get into Love Island or Real Housewives. Reality shows are designed to keep you watching, which can be a boon for a bored brain. 2. Watch a classic movie you've never seen. It's time to check out Casablanca at long last. Your parents will surely be pleased. 3. Read a great essay. You don't have to look too far. 4. Search Happy Birthday Plus Your Name on YouTube. It doesn't technically have to be your birthday to enjoy watching a bunch of strangers, okay? 5. Make a playlist of your favorite songs from high school. I bet you haven't heard Eve S.I.X.S. Inside Out in a long time, have you? What about Jimmy's Chicken Shacks, do right? 6. Watch as many episodes as you want of your favorite show. Listen, who cares? No one's judging. 7. Start a book you've been meaning to read. It's time to finally check out Swan's Way. 8. Play a video game. If you're without a video game system, there are tons of free options online. 9. Read some humor writing. Delight your mind with the writings of Jack Handy or Samantha Irby. 10. Put together a puzzle. If you enjoy that sort of thing. 11. Make a music video playlist to play on your TV. This is almost like being at a bar. Sort of. 12. Light some candles. Whether you're working from the office or in your room, keeping it cozy is an instant mood booster. Point 13. Give yourself a manicure and pedicure. An at-home salon-worthy manicure is possible. Trust us. 14. Apply a soothing face mask. Your skin deserves it. 15. Do a guide de meditation. Maybe not one by Gwyneth Paltrow, though. 16. Have a yoga break. If you don't want to head to a studio, there are a bunch of free yoga classes you can take online. It'll feel good whether it's a 15-minute or hour-long session. 17. Take a bath. Do you have a nice bathtub? Please appreciate your great fortune. Get in it and take a bath. 18. Go for a walk. It's still allowed, and it can do wonders for your mindset. 19. Practice deep breathing. I know it might sound as though it won't do much, but slowing down and paying attention to your breath can really change how you feel and instill a sense of calm. 20. Lie down, close your eyes, and listen to a podcast. Even if you don't like podcasts, I bet this sounds pretty relaxing. Find an episode that sounds interesting, lie down, and listen. 21. Cuddle with your pet. It's good for you and your fur baby. 22. Go to an online art exhibit. If you want to skip the IRL crowds, the National Museum of Women in the Arts has great options. Delicious things. 23. Make a fancy cocktail or mocktail. Practice your mixology skills and make yourself a beautiful drink. 24. Try a meal kit subscription service. Skip the grocery shopping and soothe your decision fatigue with a box of pre-portioned ingredients and hard-to-mess-up instructions. 25. Bake bread. Just give in. Sourdough starter is here to stay. 26. Meal prep for the week. It can be very satisfying. Chop away. 27. Bake cookies. You know you want to. 28. Try to recreate your favorite restaurant meal. You don't need to be a chef. All you need are the appropriate ingredients and a lot of daring do. 29. Make a dip. Onion dip. Guacamole. Artichoke. The nice thing about making a dip for yourself is you end up with a lot of dip. All for you. 30. Plan your breakfast for tomorrow. Maybe some overnight oats? 